Hello everyone and welcome to a video. We normally don't have Sunday videos on my channel, but welcome to a special Sunday edition of FCA videoing. December's video thing just went kapooey for the most part. Um, see some vlogs, I'll click them to you if you want to go see those uh, where I have explanations. I was trapped in, in another city because of snowfall and we lost internet. But if you want more details than those quick explanations, clickables available. But today is Sunday the 31st of December. Oh yeah, it is the last day of 2017. And I think thankfully for most of us, okay, for whatever reasons, your reasons may be, some people may have had great years and I hope you have another great year if you did. And I'm glad that not everybody's year was as, oh boy. Um, this year was kind of a train wreck for a lot of people I know. It wasn't the best year for me. <laughs> it wasn't the absolute worst year that could have ever occurred, but it's a contender. So with the new year comes the kind of Western Hemisphere tradition of New Year resolutions, or as I call them, New Year quests. Because resolutions come at the end. You resolve Things. That comes at the end of the year. That's a, They don't become resolutions until December. I don't think I had 2017 resolu um, resolutions, and if I did, I didn't, I didn't accomplish them for the most part. So today we're going to go through, and I have quickly wrote, written, have them down messily. I, ha I have such griffinage. But for the New Year's quests and missions of 2018. I'm really excited. I am 28 years old in the year 2018. Um, and there, there is no way, well, I guess there's a couple ways, but they're, they're pretty far stretches of ways for 2018 because 2016, was far worse ending than 2017 is uh, by far and so 2018 can't start as bad as 2017 did for me just because of the avoidance maneuvers that occurred so I have some of these New Year's quests written down and I'm going to narrow them down because I I just like to jot things down I have a whole bunch of stuff written down and we're going to just kind of go through them. Resolutions, by definition, the New Year quest, are things to improve oneself by either gaining a better habit or a skill, um, or to somehow improve oneself or by losing a new, a bad habit that one, or undesired trait or behavior that one would like to improve in the 365 days ahead. New Year's resolutions, some people don't care about them because they think they're just, you know, they're a cliche, they're a faux pas, they're whatever. But New Year's quests and resolutions are good for the sake of having a personal goal for yourself, giving yourself some motivation. And the key to doing these is to one, you want to be realistic. Okay, you're if you want to lose weight, you have to you have to do more than just want to lose weight, right? I want to lose, you know, 50 pounds by March. It's, that's, that's kind of unrealistic. You need to be able to do things. It's like, if this is your ultimate desire, you need to have the sub goals to get there too. It's like, I want to lose 50 pounds. Well, I'm going to uh, cut out dairy and exercise twice a week and go for a walk once a week. Be realistic in your goals, give yourself time and give yourself rewards and leeways. Um, because that's the thing. Um, I once heard, I don't remember who I heard this from, but by sharing your, your goals, you already feel good about yourself and then you don't do anything because people have already given you the congratulations. So I don't know if that's true because for me, I don't like to lie to people. 
I try to avoid that, you know, if, if when it comes to, like, not hurting, feeling kind of things, um, you know, too far and such. So, uh, let's let's get started i'm here's here's two things that are not on my list i don't have anything health related because i've got that down i am pretty good about um with the eating and and working out i'm pretty sure i got that down so i don't have anything health or diet related on my new year's quests uh, but i'm going to write these out so let's go write things out Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I've already made this thing out. And I
that was looking at Ohio. Apparently, if you are really interested in gravestones and memorial monuments and ghost town haunted things, um, Ohio's a great place for you. Not, not, those aren't adventures to me, but I have my New Year's quests down to be a little more adventurous, to be a little bit more crafty, um, you know, take time for hobbies and such things. I'm, you know, move my hands more for no reason. And yeah, tell me what your New Year's quests and resolutions are. Um, tell me if you like the style of how I did my New Year's quests and we can do our New Year's quests and we can be supportive of each other. Uh, I think that I might try, I'll write down on my calendar something to make an FCA Friday, like the last Friday of the month will be, how did I do on my quests for this month? Um, or every six months or every three months. What do you guys want? Do you want every month, every three months, every six months? Um, if I win, win, not if, I go on my adventures, I will be sure to vlog those things. And uh, for as far as YouTube goes, I'm going to keep up with my schedule. Um, even with my other job, I've had other jobs before, and this is a good schedule that I can keep up with, assuming that my internet doesn't decide to leave me again, I can maintain um, Makeup Mondays, FCA Fridays, and the occasional um, third video a week. That's not gonna be a guarantee, but once in a while, if something comes up, I can throw that in there. And <clears throat> FCA Fridays will be vlogs and Adulting 101 series, and makeup will be, you know, beauty related with reviews and first impressions and all the typical beauty stuff because I'm a beauty enthusiast and that's where like beauty hauls and stuff will go and I will see you next year. I'm gonna tell you I look forward to the new year simply for all the new year puns. I haven't bathed all year. I haven't eaten all year. I haven't taken my makeup off all year. I look, that's, if you want to slap me, so does my brother. And he might actually slap me. So your wish might come true for the new year. And if January doesn't work out for you, don't worry. I, because we're going to celebrate Chinese New Year too. So if you need a practice month, if January is your, I got to reset myself month and don't actually have time for the goals and don't have the mindset for that, don't worry, we'll Chinese New Year that out. And if anyone comments about cultural appropriation, I am appreciating another person's culture and it's it's a wonderful celebration. And my Gregorian calendar New Year is not the only New Year that should be recognized by George. All right, I'll see you later, bye. Get ready for a new year together, woo -hoo. woo. -hoo. I'm going to stop this. Quick thing. note, I just finished filming and I put all my stuff away and I just had the thought to tell everybody. I did mention that I'm going to be um, planning more for my wedding because I've been engaged for a year. We have not planned anything <laughs> except that we, we plan on getting married. That's as far as the planning goes. Just so you know, I'm not going to overwhelm my channel. Every video, every thing, every vlog will not be about wedding stuff. It'll come up occasionally just because when you're vlogging your life, that's bound to happen while you're planning a wedding. But I promise you that every video, I'm not gonna be shoving wedding and bridal stuff in your face uh, because that drives me crazy when the people who I follow their vlogs on do that. So that won't be the case with me. Um, the wedding really only affects me and my fiance and our parents a little bit. And I understand that not everybody cares about that, cares about me getting married and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about wedding stuff getting shoved in your video face. Just wanted to make that clear. Okay, bye for real this time.